The idea of expanding background checks and establishing a red flag law in Ohio is not exactly a speeding bullet. It's more like a long, arcing trajectory through the General Assembly. The governor is trying to strike a balance. The community to make sure that the bill that we present to the legislature passes constitutional muster that protects people's constitutional rights. Um, but there's a real need out there uh, expressed by many families uh, to get some help. In the wake of the mass shooting in Dayton, the push for a red flag law has intensified. But State Representative Bill Seitz is among those who commend the governor for ensuring due process, providing notice, the opportunity for a hearing, and a court-appointed attorney if needed. But he agrees with John Villing, a firearms expert at Target World, that there are holes in the 17-point plan. There isn't anything set in stone with how the process is going to work. Villing's opposed to expanding the background check process, saying essentially personal transactions are just that, personal. He not only sees red flag as a slippery slope, but as a potential invitation to mischief. You know, if somebody is upset at something and they, they, they say something maybe off color on Facebook, well, one of their friends on Facebook, you know, could screenshot, screenshot the, the, the conversation or the, the posting on Facebook and then, you know, call the police where that guy was just letting off steam. He's not going to do anything about it. Gun rights groups are aligning against the DeWine plan by email, text and voicemail. Well, I'm hearing from people who are concerned, but they have not really seen our proposal. Now, Republicans who control the General Assembly and who prize the Second Amendment are the critical ones. Getting enough of them on board could be a heavy lift. Uh, they uh, say about expanded checks, they wonder about exceptions, question about how it can be enforced, and say they are wary of enacting a law that cannot be enforced. Live at UC, John London, WWT News 5.